our city is a friendly city, and I believe that it's the people who make the difference. This story is how a cab driver in his city made change. There's a prayer that encourages us to accept the things we cannot change and change the things we can. Complaining changes nothing, but a change in attitude just might. Harvey McKay tells a story, a wonderful story about a cab driver that proved this point, and I think it's worth repeating. Harvey was waiting in line for a ride at the airport. When a cab pulled up, the first thing that Harvey noticed was that the taxi was polished to a bright shine and that the driver was smartly dressed. The cab driver jumped out and rounded the car to open the back passenger door for Harvey. He handed him a laminated card and said, I'm Wally, your driver. While I'm loading your bags in the trunk, I'd like you to read my mission statement. Taken back, Harvey read the card. It said, Wally's mission statement, to get my customers to their destination in the quickest, safest, and cheapest way possible in a friendly environment. This blew Harvey away, especially since the cab he was in was spotlessly clean on the inside as well as out. As he slid behind the wheel, Wally said, Would you like a cup of coffee? I have a thermos of regular and one of decaf. Harvey responded jokingly, No, I'd prefer a soft drink. Wally smiled and said, No problem, I have a cooler up here in the front with Diet Coke, regular, orange juice, and water. Almost stuttering, Harvey said, I I I'll take a Diet Coke. Handing him his drink, Wally said, If you'd like something to read, I have several newspapers and a couple of magazines, The Times and Sports Illustrated. As they were pulling away, Wally handed him another laminated card. These are the stations I get and the music they play, if you'd like to listen to the radio. And, as if that weren't enough, Wally told Harvey that he had the air conditioner on, and he asked him if the temperature was comfortable enough for him. Then he advised Harvey of the best route to his destination for that time of day. He also let him know that he'd be happy to chat and tell him about some of the sights, or, if Harvey preferred, he would leave him with his own thoughts. Amazed, he asked the driver, Tell me, Wally, have you served all your customers like this? Wally smiled into the rearview mirror. No, not always. In fact, it's only been the last two years. My first five years driving, I spent most of my time complaining like all the rest of the cabbies do. Then I heard on the radio one day that if you get up in the morning expecting to have a bad day, you will rarely disappoint yourself. The announcer continued with, Stop complaining. Differentiate yourself from your competition. Don't be a duck. Be an eagle. Ducks quack and complain. Eagles soar above the crowd. That hit me right between the eyes, said Wally. That announcer was really talking about me that day. I was always quacking and complaining, so I decided to change my attitude and become an eagle. I looked around at the other cabs and their drivers. The cabs were dirty and the drivers were unfriendly, and the customers were unhappy. So I decided to make some changes. I put in a few at a time. When my customers responded well, I did more. I take it that that has paid off for you, Harvey said. It sure has, Wally replied. My first year as an eagle, I doubled my income from the previous year. This year, I'll probably quadruple it. You were lucky to get me today. I don't sit around cab stands anymore. My customers call me for appointments on the cell phone or leave a message on my answering machine. If I can't pick them up myself, I get a reliable cabbie friend to do it, and I take a piece of the action. Wally was phenomenal. He was running a limo service out of his cab. Harvey claims to have told that story to more than 50 cab drivers now over the years and only a few have taken the idea and ran with it. Whenever Harvey goes to their cities, he gives them a call. They always get his business. I'd be calling a driver like that myself. Wally the cab driver made a different choice. He decided to stop quacking like a duck and start soaring like an eagle. And that's a challenge we all might want to look at. This is Linda Lewis. Sometimes the littlest things in life can make your whole world change. The choice you make today 
will usually affect your tomorrow.